I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We will take a few applications to geometry in this particular video. Let us begin with a very important concept which is also referred to as division of a line segment. So, let me write down here division of a line segment. The equation could be something like this. Express OP as a linear combination of OA and OB when P divides AB in the ratio of M is to N. Right. Now, we will derive a very standard formula which will be utilized in solving many questions. So, let us say we have a vector AB. Right. So, this is the vector AB for us. Let us take any external point O, right? So, you could think as if it is from origin. So, you get a position vector OA from here, right? And OB. So, these become your position vectors. If O is considered as a point on the origin. Now, what we are saying here is that express OP. So, some point P is here which divides AB in the ratio of M is to N. So, let us take a point here. Let us say this is our point P, which divides AB in the ratio of M is to N. That means this is M and that is N. So, we need to express OP in terms of OA and OB. That is the question. Perfect. You can always uh, pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now, one of the easiest way to solve this or prove this or find the formula for this is to use scalar multiples. So, let us look into what AP is and what is PB. So, a, P and P, B are in the same line as A, B. They are collinear, right? So, we could write A, P as equal to M times A, B. We could write P, B as N times A, B, right? So, so these are vectors. Now, if I multiply this by n and that by m, what do we get? So, if I write n times a p, so I am multiplying this by n, then I get n m a b, right? Here, if I multiply this by m, I get m times p b will be equal to n m a b. Do you see both become equal? Correct? So, so, when you do that, multiplying the first equation by n and the other by m, in that case we find that the right side is equal or we could now write that n times a p is equal to m times p b. Correct? Now, what is a p? a to p could be written as o p minus o a, right? So, A to P is OP minus OA and P to B is OB minus OP. Perfect. Now, we can bring OP to the left side to find an expression of OP in terms of OA and OB. As you can see, in this particular equation, we only have OP in terms of OA and OB, right? So, bringing it to the left side, we get N plus M. Or oh, let's do it in two steps. Let's open this. N times OP minus N times OA equals to m times ob minus m times op. Right. So, bringing it here, we could write this as m times op plus n times op is equal to 
m times OA bringing this to the right plus m times OP right so m and n are common OP is common so we could write m plus n scalar multiples using the property of associative property of addition we get here m times OA plus uh, what did I do n this is O uh, OA is with n times so this is n right so n OA I took to the right so this is n okay. and we have m times OB so basically OA gets multiplied by that number right and OB gets multiplied with this number so we get an expression for OP as n over m plus n OA plus m over m plus n OB. Okay. So this is a very important formula. Let me rewrite this formula here. It is also called section formula, right? So sometimes it is referred to as section formula. So OP is equal to n over m plus n, the whole length of AB, times OA plus m over m plus n times OB, right? So this is the formula which will be utilized many times uh, when we are talking about uh, geometrical applications. So I hope that makes sense. So go through this and understand how we derived it. Many questions could be solved using this method itself, which we have utilized, correct? I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.